Leadership means the Prime Minister should be engaged. He's had three calls with American officials, and he hasn't mentioned Line 5 once. 30,000 jobs will be affected if Line 5 is shut down. According to the Pipefitters Union, up to 6,500 good trades union jobs could be affected. These are good jobs for families across Ontario. Why won't the Prime Minister stand up for these families? Carlton. Well, the Prime Minister's plan to phase out the energy sector and move away from manufacturing is looking worse than ever. These naturally physically distanced goods producing sectors would have thrived even throughout the pandemic. But now, as a result of their absence, we have higher unemployment here in Canada than the US, the UK, Germany, Japan, the G7 average, the European Union, even though all those jurisdictions are struggling with COVID as well. Why is it that workers abroad get paychecks while Canadians just get credit card debts? The right honourable Prime Minister. Uh, Mr. Speaker, if the member opposite had his way, the credit card debts of Canadians would be monstrous. Instead, uh, we didn't listen to him, and we chose to invest in Canadians right away. We took on debt at the federal level, so provinces and mostly so Canadians, families and businesses wouldn't have to. Uh, we invested to help Canadians through this pandemic with record amounts of supports for families, for seniors, for workers. Uh, the members opposite have consistently said we are doing too much too fast. No, we're doing what's necessary for Canadians. Well, member for Carlton. Well, I hate to break to the Prime Minister, but Canadians' credit card debts are monstrous. Under this Prime Minister, household debt for the first time ever exceeded the size of our entire GDP. His own top economic advisor said that his plan will add a trillion dollars without improving our economy at all. He has the, among the highest unemployment in the G7, among the lowest vaccination rates, and at the highest cost. Why is it this Prime Minister can only judge his success by how much he adds to household and national credit card debts, rather than how many paychecks he can create? Uh, I would be remiss if I didn't start also by recognizing uh, the news coming out of India uh, about the protests by farmers. Uh, the situation is concerning and uh, we're all very worried about family and friends. I know that's the reality for many of you. Let me remind you, Canada will always be there to defend the right of peaceful protest. We believe in the importance of dialogue and that's why we've reached out uh, through multiple means directly to uh, the Indian authorities uh, to highlight our concerns. Has uh, the Minister of the Prime Minister phoned uh, Prime Minister Modi to ask if we could get vaccines from India? Well, thank you for that uh, question. I am in a regular communication with organizations and countries around the world to secure doses of additional vaccines. Thank you. Have we phoned Prime Minister Modi? I personally have not phoned uh, Prime Minister Modi and I can't speak for anyone else in our government. Thank you. Does the minister know if the Prime Minister has reached out to the Indian government? I do not know, thank you. She doesn't know. That's Frightening.